And now how just a little bit of effort and a whole lot of paint is helping to brighten up some neighborhoods. Murals are popping up in an effort to revitalize parts of St. John. CTV's Ashley Blackford takes a look. It's a work of art designed to beautify and unify a neighborhood. I think it's crucial to the communities. It's a very easy, fairly inexpensive way to give a any neighborhood a, a facelift. And many neighborhoods in St. John are getting facelifts. Murals are being done in several areas in the city. We're hoping on along here to get some trees planted and there's a couple owners that said they're going to clean up their buildings down. We found this but when we do the murals but people then start to clean up their properties. Barry Ogden is a community activist who is organizing the mural project. He hopes these paintings not only brighten the look of the communities but also the lives of the people who live there. We'll take a site that's really unsightly and and put a mural there and and it's just what going from night to day and just the response of everybody in the neighborhood they're really proud in that and uh, and that's the type of thing that gives people hope and confidence walls aren't the only objects in the city getting a paint job many buildings including the men's shelter are getting a fresh coat of paint to brighten things up they're really proud in that and uh, and that's the type of thing that gives people hope and confidence Tyson Ardo had the inspiration for the design of this mural but the actual work is being done by anyone who wants to pick up a brush Irving is supplying the paint. It's great to see people just so willing to participate in changing their community. That's phenomenal because that's change right there. That's where you're watching change. Ogden has had several artists from across the province offer up their artistic abilities for this project and he says he'll be taking many of them up on that offer because many more murals are planned for the city. Ashley Blackford, CTV News, St. John.